Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Let's Play. Today we're doing the 150cc Shell Cup with Moomoo Meadows, Mario Circuit, Cheap Cheap Beach and Toad's 10 Pike. Here we are, first race, Moomoo Meadows, as already mentioned. Hopefully we can win this one, I think we will be able to, using Daisy today. I can't remember what this cart is called actually. Why did I use that shell? Shouldn't have you. I'm not driving very well at all. Slash plague, if you want to call it that, because I failed to throw a shell as well. But yeah, we're using Daisy, whatever this car is the retro off road wheels and the waddle wing. Um, and yeah, here comes a red shell. Not amazing. And what I'm doing at the moment in terms of characters is just going in order through the ones we haven't done and I'm pretty sure we haven't done Daisy so that's why I picked her today we had Peach in the previous episode and now we have Daisy and next I don't know who it will be because I think we've used Ro Rosalina if I remember correctly we used her in episode 8 so I can't even think of who's after her in the roster Never mind if we've used them or not. Could be Tanuki Mario. Yeah, it's Tanuki Mario, which we have used. And Cat Peach, which I don't know if we've used or not. We might have done. But I'd have to check by going through all the thumbnails. And seeing if any of them feature Cat Peach. The annoying thing with characters in this game is, I have a feeling... Like if I go through the character roster just by myself, I can't pick because I just think I've already used them, but in reality I've only used 29 characters, so it's just weird that it's like that. Second race is Mario Circuit from the Game Boy version of the game, which I could actually do a let's play on if I wanted to, I might do, because have it on the Wii U and I can obviously record the Wii U because I have a capture card and that's how I'm recording this video. So yeah that might be an idea, do a playthrough of Mario Kart Super Circuit. It'd obviously be very different to this game because it's so much older but still it's Mario Kart and I like all Mario Karts. Well I assume I'd like all I like all of them. I've played all of them except Double Dash and the arcades. I'm pretty sure I earn all of them except Double Dash in the arcades as well. Don't think I've ever got rid of a game. I was going to say got rid of a Mario Kart game, but I don't think I've got rid of a game full stop because why would you? There's just no need to. Because you can play it as many times as you want. And it's one of them things that even if you stop liking it at some point, you may like it again in the future or just want it in the future to play it again, see what it was like if you can't remember plus in the case of me it means I've got tons of games I could potentially do series on if I really wanted to I don't know how many games I earned but it's definitely a lot and it's always expanding so hundreds, literally hundreds of opportunities for series to have on this channel Especially if virtual console comes to Switch. Because it'd be fun to do playthroughs of old games as well as new ones releasing. Speaking of which, I do plan to play a new game soon, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy when it comes out for Switch. I want to get it as soon as it comes out because it's a bit cheaper than some of the other games releasing. So I think it would be best better to get and then never played Crash Bandicoot so it'd be nice to try it and see what it's like. I think the main reason I've never played Crash Bandicoot is I've never earned a PlayStation and I would like to get one but they're not exactly cheap. Plus most of the exclusives I'm, exclusives I'm not really that interested in but it'd still be nice to get one because there are exclusive 
exclusive. Why can't I speak? Exclusives. It does get that I do like. Plus, next generation, assuming the Game Pass continues and Microsoft's play everywhere thing or play anywhere. I don't think there's a reason for me to get an Xbox. Because at the moment, all the Xbox One's new exclusives that come out are also available on PC, making it for me pointless to get, say, an Xbox One X, because I could get the same experience by getting a better PC, which I am doing soon anyway, plus I'm not bothered about 4K. All I want to be able to do is see what I'm playing, which 720, 1080 are enough, so doesn't matter if I can't run it at the best of graphical settings as long as I know what's going on and can see what's going on I don't really care I'm gonna try to get Waluigi in this explosion and that worked got put into second anyway but Waluigi would have almost 100% overtaken this if I didn't break to get him involved in it as well And no one's near us now. Doing good. Should be able to win this race then, unless something devastating happens, but it's not going to. So let's move on to our final race. Final race, Toad's Turnpike. Should be an easy one, it's a pretty simple track. Probably because it's from the N64, which to be honest, I don't think they could have made like really complicated tracks on just because of hardware limits. Like, can we get? Yep, yeah, we got all four coins there, and we're gonna pretty much lose more. Right, that takes us up to three. Any other coins? I think not. Without going into a layby, which I don't know where the nearest one is, and I crashed into Peach's banana. Not doing amazing. Probably because I said this is easy. Oh, didn't see that bomb. Oh no, we're really far behind. This is not good. Because I don't fancy redoing the whole episode. Right, first seems to be right next to us now. And there we go. Let's use that to secure our lead a bit more. And there will be far more coins here. Now we only need two and to not get hit by anything or crash into anything. Which to be honest probably will happen but yeah. I think we're going to be able to maintain 10 coins for a bit at least. And there we go, I knew it would happen at some point. We crashed again. Right, 10 coins. 11 if you could pick up that many but you can't. I wish you could, it should just go up to 99. Or they could make it bigger and have it go up to like an insanely big number that you're never going to collect that many in a single race. They should work out like the max possible you could get in a race. Which I don't think you could get more than 99, so that's why I think they should just have the max be 99. Especially since it's already just a two digit number. Having 99 would work because it doesn't take up any extra room at all. And we got hit again. Ooh, enemies, well, not enemies, just other races are really close. Anyway, that'll be it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.